This investigation revealed uh, uh, inadequate reprocessing and sterilization procedures. The patients who uh, are at risk um, have been notified by letter and advised to get tested for hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Uh, and those are 270 uh, patients who attended the Northtown uh, Medical Clinic. This clinic opened and in, uh, on November 24, 2015, it underwent a routine inspection. Uh, as noted, we found uh, some deficiencies in terms of the reprocessing of equipment and uh, the staff were not properly trained and the uh, staff were not uh, using appropriate uh, processes to ensure that equipment that was being sterilized was being ad adequately sterilized. If you use uh, surgical instruments, uh, uh, it's, uh, you, you first have to clean them and then you, you uh, put them in the sterilizer. So the reprocessing is the whole package. So it means that they're, they're reusable instruments. They're typically steel instruments. The sterilizer uh, was meeting the temperatures uh, that were necessary in order to kill any potential pathogens. And they weren't properly using the biologic indicators to indicate that, in fact, this was being done to appropriate standards. These are all low-risk procedures. Um, and that's part of the reason why this is such a, it, while we're telling you about this, it is a low risk to the patient population. So these are low risk procedures. Uh, so we define those procedures that can only be done in a hospital or a hospital-like setting that meets very high standards. Uh, this is routine office-based medicine type procedures. What happened in this process and our, our standard process is the CPSA identified a deficiency. That de deficiency was reported to Alberta Health Services uh, Public Health. It was referred to the risk assessment panel, uh, which has a threshold of an increased risk of one in a million. Um, so after evaluating the findings of the investigation, they determine um, an estimated risk, and if it's higher than um, an increased risk of one in a million, then a, a look back is recommended. So as again, the, the risk of transmission is considered quite low because the threshold itself is quite low.